University of Zimbabwe got into partnership with the Royal Academy of Engineering in 2013. The project involves industrial exposure, professional training, and knowledge sharing. Intention is to equip academic staff as well as technical staff with the requisite uh, technical skills that are required in order to deliver their lectures in a more comfortable and confident manner. Cresta International is a foundry. We had one of our members of staff, a lady who was attached at this company. She was involved in a number of uh, facilities through the plant. This has assisted her in delivering her duties as a lecturer in manufacturing technology. In Sub-Saharan Africa, I think there was a problem with curriculum development and also industrial linkages between academia and industry and also our type of teaching and learning activity. We are used to chalk and talk. It was decided by Royal Academy that uh, we should have uh, secondments to uh, industries. Students are really motivated to become practical engineers than theoretical engineers. There was one postgraduate student who designed a road compactor and manufactured it. And uh, that's really uh, good for uh, civil engineering, especially, especially small contractors who cannot afford to have big money to buy bigger compactors from outside of, uh, of the country and manufactured actually using locally available materials, translating our teachers that into useful products for our country. We get a problem from industry, students work on it, students learn the theory around it before solving it. Uh, most of the stuff that we have are not able to operate CNC machines and therefore the Royal Academy of Engineering you know, intervention came in handy in that uh, it facilitated you know, the training of 10 academic and technical staff who are now able to use the, the CNC machines and are able to uh, explain and use these in the workshops to students. We now have CNC machines in our workshops. We now have staff who are able to use those machines. And we also have students who are now being exposed to that technology. And that is important because at the end of the day, we produce relevant graduates.